everybody! I am Jenny the Artsy Rose, and welcome back to White Leap! I'm sorry for holding you guys for longer than I- I'm sorry for postponing this longer than I should have. Please, don't kill me. Don't kill me across the screen! Uh, not that you can, right? Wow. Yeah, I've really been holding this off. Let's continue where we left off. So, the band decided to take a wee break. So... What shall we do now? I find myself thinking that the anxiety itself is our greatest obstacle. Norton, who's been who had been watching silently, spoke up after Solomon. Time, Crowley, does not simply pass with a fix. It is our own hearts that control the flow of time. Norton's tone was as soothing as it could, and we had and he had a small smile on his face. The more you worry, the faster time passes. In contrast, if you keep calm. Time will pass on slowly and gently. Oh. And you understand that, Crowley, don't you? What you need right now, most of all, is to soothe that strained heart, even if but a little. Lord Solomon, Lord Norton. They're right, Crowley. Hartman said after giving his favorite symbols a bang. If this keeps up, your heart will break before the battle tomorrow. I understand. Crowley looked over at me. I said too much. Please forgive me, Rhoda. No worries at all. I'll really get into practice after our break. I really want to sing better, too. Yeah. Lord Solomon, I'm going to go out to get some fresh air. I think that's a good idea. Crowley picked up the bass guitar at his side and left the hall. Crowley... Feeling that his back was trying to cry something out. I couldn't help but worry a little. Curly didn't return to the dance hall at all during our break. No! Shoot! 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 Pretty! I got worried and went off to the castle to look for him. Crowley! I found him in a corner of the castle's great hall. So this is where he'd been off to. Crowley had been playing his bass alone in the empty hall. Rhoda, so you found me. When I entered the vision, Crowley strained at his smile. Mm. I sat down next to him. So you were practicing alone here? Well, I couldn't let you see me practicing right after you said it was break time. Crowley couldn't stop strumming along, even while he spoke. The low bass sounds he played felt like they reached the very core of my heart. You really have gotten better at the bass. I said how I honestly felt. Even someone with mut even with a even with someone even someone without much knowledge of music like me could tell that Crowley's drumming was high level. He must have practiced so much by himself. I'm sorry about how I wasn't practice. I really am. Crowley bowed his head to me. I think my desire to not lose was too strong. It made my speech a little harsh. I'm going to apologize to Hartman and Lord Solomon later as well. Crowley... Crowley kept on playing strings with his left hand, even through his apology. I unconsciously put my palm over it. Rhoda? You can pull off a complicated, hard-working chord like that easily, too. The skin had broken on Crowley's fingers, and there was dried blood there, here and there. You're amazing, Crowley. No, it's nothing. It isn't that you can pull off tough techniques that I think is amazing. It's that you look like you're really enjoying yourself as you play. I look like I'm enjoying this? Yeah, no matter how hard the note is, you always pull it off with a smile. As I looked at Crowley in the eyes, I said the same words again. Crowley, you're amazing. Thank you, Rhoda. Crowley, you don't need to be so hard on yourself.
Riley softly pulled my hand away from the base. But no matter how amazing I may be, it won't mean anything if we lose tomorrow's contest. Because if we lose, they'll take you away, Rhoda. Curly, Curly's serious eyes were looking right at me. I know that White Leap is a temporary band, something only formed for the musical festival. It wasn't something that will last long. But even so, no. Because of that, this band is important to me. White Leap is important to me, Rhoda. With you in it. We need you, Rhoda. Because you can enjoy singing with us. We can enjoy playing our music. I cannot let Leonardo and the others steal you away. So no matter what, I... I feel the same way. I gently put my palm to Curly's cheek. Rhoda? Curly's tense face lightened up, just lightened up just a little. I can't sing all alone. Because I've got Solomon's guitar, Hartman's drums, and your bass, I can sing. Everyone's playing makes my heart sing. It makes me fully enjoy singing. Our music does that for you. We can't lose a single member of White Leap. It's the four of us that makes us White Leap. That's why I don't want to lose. No, I can't. I want to sing with you and the others, Crowley, with no one else but you guys. That was the first time I realized just how I felt. So I want you to believe in me, Crowley, like I believe in all of you from the bottom of my heart. If we all believe in each other, there's no way we'll lose. Rhoda. Rhoda took my waist, took my wrist, and pulled me towards him. Huh? My whole body felt snug if it snuggly into Curly's chest. Hey! What's up? This is a little sudden. As I found myself confused at the sudden act, Curly gently whispered into my ear. That's what I love about you, Rhoda. Curly? He whispers smoothly. His whispers smoothly poured into my ear like a gentle breeze. You needn't worry. There's no way I would not believe in you. Don't you know? To me, Rada, you are hope itself. Your words, your very being shines the light of hope down on me. Which is why just doing this takes away any worry I have. The hope that you are, Rada, erases any worry and fear inside of me. Crowley. I had no idea he thought of me like that. My heart started to beat rapidly as I was held tight in Crowley's arms. The lad pumping inside my chest seemed to reach Crowley as well. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, your heartbeat had sounded like a bass for a while, so I couldn't help it. Uh, Crowley? That just makes it even more embarrassing. That embarrassment made my heart beat even more. Oh. The pitch has gotten faster now, and the way it's going. A slight bass, I see. Would you mind staying like this for a while longer? What? I want to hear for just a little bit longer. Crowley's arms around me tightened. Crowley! Do not... Do look forward to tomorrow. I'll play you the bass so good it won't lose to the one you're playing for me now. <sighs> that was quite a tender moment. The tension from practice had entirely disappeared from Crowley's words. Look, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to singing along to your amazing bass too. Curly held me even tighter, and I buried my face in his chest. The next day, our battle with Black Claw was about to begin. We were performing on a specially made stage in this central square. Like all said, the audience seats were packed. It's finally time! Are we going to be alright? Nervous that the day was upon us, Hartman sounded worried. What are you talking about? We'll be fine. Hartman patted Curly's patted Curly pat Hartman's shoulder and cheered up cheered him up. As long as we don't forget how we were playing yesterday, there's no way this won't go well. How were how we were playing yesterday? How we were playing yesterday, huh? Yeah, you're probably right. Come to mention it. We all started doing really well after that break. Solomon agreed with Curly, remembering yesterday's practice. 
Indeed, when I stepped in to watch, you all, entreated, you all treated me to the finest of performances. I had such a fine time listening that I almost felt like dancing a bit myself. Oh, come on. <laughs> Perhaps I am. Everyone chuckled at Norton's lighthearted <laughs> counter. We've got a good vibe going on. They were right too. Our practice after the, after the break was amazing. Crowley had calmed down completely and the tension had completely disappeared from the, from the air. Even more, he showed us just how precise and skilled his technique had gotten, leading us to follow suit. It was the most fun practice we'd had yet. If we didn't forget that fun, we did well. I felt like I could really believe that. Woo! The crowd gathering in front the people crowding in front of the stage all let out a roaring cry. Wow, it's the gang. I look up to the stage to see Leonardo, Oz, and Wesley all there with their instruments. It seems Blue is about to begin their performance. Huh? When had we decided they were getting first play? Hardman tilted his head. We hadn't. Isn't it a little unfair that they should invite themselves to go first? Hardman put his cheeks in dissatisfaction. Just let them. Crowley said, not saying in contrast to Hartman, his face was full of confidence. After all, getting the opportunity to see our opponent's hand isn't bad for us. Let's see just how good the great Oz and the others are. You're right. Right as we sat down in the audience seats, Black Claw started its performance. Thanks. Leonardo bellowed to the crowd. You're all gonna hear the cry of our souls! <laughs> These guys feel pretty serious. I bet they performed their stage actions on top of their music. That is not like Leonardo. One, two, three, four. At the drummer of Wesley's count, Black Claw song began. Oz was on the guitar and Leonardo was on the vocalist. The bass is low sound mixed with the drum's thick beat. The twisted guitar... The twisted guitar... The twisted guitar chords, nor the tense, nor the intense vocals, didn't would lose the sound either. So they're a hard rock band. I didn't know Leonardo was this good at singing. Well, he used to be a lion. Screamo wouldn't. Yeah, screamo wouldn't be too hard for him. Screamo? What's screamo? <laughs> Is that a typo for screaming? Wesley's drums are pretty intense too, and Oz's guitar is pro level. Hmm. Maybe he's using his magic trick. That's not fair! That's not fair. Oz! Did you have any natural talent? Their performance was the real thing. And it immediately caught the audience's hearts. The crowd filling the gorge. The crowd filling the grounds to the brim, intoxicated themselves in Black Claw's every move and cheer as they did. Wow, I didn't expect Leonardo's band to be this good. Can I actually sing like this? Bravely in front of a crowd so big like Leonardo is? Thank you everyone! Leonardo shouted when their song ever because we had the best audience ever. The cheers got even louder. Then when the crowd got quiet, then when the crowd quieted down, Leonardo added in something else. There's a band called White Leap who's performing after us. Listen and compare the both of us and tell us which one you like best, which one you like better at the end. All right? <laughs> I can already see who. I can already see how that'll turn out. The Heidi Peacock Wesley. Leaving that behind, Black Claw left the stage. I didn't think it, they'd go as far as introducing us. That's just how confident they are, I suppose. They didn't think they'd lose. They didn't think they'll- they don't think they'll lose. I think it may be- ...left behind, but it's our turn. But what do we do? We're on! I was tense all over. The passionate audience's cheers drove into my ears and wouldn't leave. Rhoda. Solomon gently put his hand to my back. I'm going up ahead to prepare our guitar. My guitar. Sh sure. 
<laughs> you don't have to worry about my tuning anymore. If that's what was bugging you. Oh, sweetheart, that's hardly the case. Not even Solomon's little joke relieved my nervousness. What's the matter, Rhoda? Curly asked from behind as I stood there in a daze. I've kind of lost confidence. I turned around to Crowley and told me how and told him how You've lost your confidence? Now that's strange. You were enjoying yourself so much yesterday without a care in the world. <sighs> Give her a break. And just as I was realizing that we haven't had anything like this, but fortunately I have the item that we We haven't seen Toto Jr. since the prologue. What's up with that? Where is the dog in all this? What, was he le- Did they- Did she leave Toto Jr. in Kansas? I shook my head. Well, Crowley, you and the others were with me, and there wasn't such a crowd. When I said that, there was a great cheer from the audience seats. It looked like Solomon and Hartman had started the, la the last preparations of their instruments. Rada, there's no difference between today and yesterday. Huh? You'll sing and we'll play, just like yesterday. There's no difference. We will be right behind you. Also, the four of us can even. Uh, also, the four of us can enjoy ourselves together. But, but after taking a, after taking a glance at the packed audience seats, I turned my eyes to Crowley's again. No way! It's totally different from yesterday. Look at all those people. I couldn't help covering my face with my hands. If I go up to the stage right now. I don't think I could even look at the audience. I see their faces, I'll probably just collapse right there. You know, my father used to used to be part of a band called the Kuzan Band. He was Kane Glaze in the Kuzan Band, and he would have stage fright. Sometimes he would even have to have to Pepto uh, Pepto Bismol, a uh, medicine for his stomach, just to ease himself down, just to calm down. Uh, well. Sometimes he's still a little bit of stage fright, but he was a great performer. He was a great musician. If I see their faces, I'll probably just collapse right there. Exactly during those ki exactly during those kind of times, Rhoda. Crowley gently touched my forehead. Crowley, you should look at them closely. Look at what lies before you, at the faces of your audience. What? With a soothing smile, Crowley gently swept the hair on my forehead out of the way. Then his other hand brought a beautiful hair ornament on my bangs, to my bangs. An ornament? Crowley nodded. I bought it because I wanted to give it to you before the performance. Thanks. But, but why? So you can pull the bangs and see the audience more clearly. Crowley continued, his hand still on the ornament. Listen, Rhoda, what lies in front of you isn't a packed audience. You know this, right? Nowhere in the world does a creature called an audience exist. Does it exist? Every one of them is a person. They're all here with their own wishes and desires, and they want to have fun. In front of you is a gathering of individuals, each smiling, and those smiles is a gift. A present from God, since you're enjoying yourself singing so. I love that concept. I like Crowley. A present for me? Yes. Pull your hair and open your eyes wide. Okay? So that you can get a good look at your present. Yeah, I will. I looked at the audience seats once more. One more time. He's right. It's not an audience. It's a group of people, each smiling. No. No. Let's get going. Let's enjoy ourselves with everyone. Hand. Yeah. I gave his hand a squeeze, too, and walked towards the stage step by step. Greeting me on stage were my dear friends, here to enjoy the day with me. We're all ready over here. Hartman gave his symbol a light tap with his drumstick. That sounds good. I'm counting on you, Hartman. Solomon strummed a C chord with a smile on his face. 
on key. Then let us begin. His cue to start. As if that was his cue to start, Curly plucked the four strings of his bass. Yeah! With all my energy, I skipped to the center of the stage. All the audience's smiles, one by one, greeted me. With my mic in hand, I called out loudly to those smiles. Let's all get excited! We've got one wish and one wish only! I paused, took a deep breath, then... Make sure you have just as much fun as we do! One! Four! At the, at, at the end of Hartman's count, the dry sound of the high of the high hat rung through the, through the stage. Goodness. Solomon's, Solomon's guitar and Curly's bass started a perfectly syn synchronized play. Our band, White Leap's performance, had begun. Wow. White Leap Happy Ending, White Leap Sweet Ending. I guess I need to make another recording. I this and I will see you in the sweet ending. Goodbye. That is, if I'm not running out of space. <laughs>